Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over some knee-jerk reactions for game week 16, how I got on in game week 15. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 50 likes. Leave a comment, how did you get on in game week 15? Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So, starting things off, my game week 15 generally couldn't have gone worse. I finished on 52 points, well technically 48 because I did take a hit. And um, yeah, everything that could have gone wrong basically did go wrong. So, um, obviously, just before the deadline, we had the site crash again. So, I didn't know what was happening really. I did have my captaincy on Haaland, but I changed it to Wilson just because of the fixture and how good Newcastle have been lately. And I also took out Foden for Rashford for a hit because Foden was benched. Um, but honestly, if I didn't see the team news before, I would have had a better week. And I would have had a much better week. But um, either way, Gaeta got me two points in goal. Was really, really surprised to see Crystal Palace beat West Ham away. I know it was like a 94th minute winner or something. Um, but either way, I will take the Zaha points, but I was not expecting because Crystal Palace are so bad away from home. I think it was their first away win of the season. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. Trippier got me 12 points, but again, it doesn't really matter. I mean, everybody owns him. If you don't own Trippier, you're doing something wrong. Um, and of course, he did keep his clean sheet and his max bonus because he did come off um, before Newcastle conceded. That, that Newcastle uh, goal being conceded was honestly a massive, massive boost though for my game week because obviously everyone that owns Pope and stuff. Um, um, Trippier did say that he had like something wrong with his hamstring, um, but he, he decided to come come out second half and, and he was like, all right, um, but we'll have to wait for an update on that. Dallow, really annoying. I mean, I wasn't expecting Aston Villa to win 3-1, but not only that, he picked up a yellow card, so he missed his game week 16. So that's another problem that I had this week. Another problem was the Cancelo red card. Again, not a huge, not a huge issue because a lot of people own him, but still really, really annoying to have that. Also, there's a lot of like kind of talk on why Dallow misses game week 16 and Cancelo doesn't. It's really weird with how yellow and red cards work. So basically, if you get five yellow cards, um, you miss the next um, game in the Premier League. Like that's for the Premier League only. But if you get a red card, um, the Carabao Cup um, also kind of counts. As well as that, a red, a straight red is usually like three match ban. But that's for violent conduct. For a last ban, it's only a one match ban. So that's why Cancelo was fine for game week 16. And Dallo isn't because it wasn't violent conduct. It was just a last man sending off. Um, so that's why he's available for game week 16. So do not sell Cancelo. He is available for game week 16. A lot of people have already sold him. Like 160 odd thousand people. I don't know why. Like, he's fine. <laughs> don't get rid of him. You're going to regret it because I've got Brentford at home. I mean, Pep might not play him anyway. But, you know, when he did get um, sent off, Pep looked like he was kind of consoling him and stuff like that. So I'm sure he'll be back. But yeah, Cancelo misses the Carabao Cup, which I don't think he was going to play anyway, really. Uh, but yeah, Dallo does miss game week 16 because of the five yellow cards. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Either way, I own both of them. It was really annoying. Uh, Rashford was the player that I brought in for... Um, Foden. Now, I didn't actually watch the United game, so I don't know how poor United were. I don't know if Rashford was close to scoring or anything like that. Apparently, he was playing out of position, though, which was great for me. Um, but yeah, really, really annoying there. Also, Almiron ticking over again, but also picked up that injury. I don't know what's going on with that situation. We'll have to wait for press conferences there. So that was something else that was really annoying. Uh, Zaha was the one thing that went kind of right all week, like, which is weird because if I didn't um, like have the Tony issue, obviously transferring out for Wilson. I would have got rid of Zaha for Trossard this week or Zaha for Rashford. So in, in retrospect, I'm quite happy that Tony picked up that fifth yellow because I wouldn't have had Zaha and he really saved my game week. Well, made it not as bad as it would have been. Uh, Martinelli picked up three, really annoying for the Saka assist and stuff. Um, Haaland got me five. Like this was just really annoying because um, obviously Haaland was benched, which is why I didn't captain him, but he got a 95th minute penalty or whatever. And it was such a bad penalty as well. Like Leno should have saved it. And Obviously, it was nice to get points because at that point, I was sitting at minus two because I only had Cancelo playing um, that day <laughs> for the City game. I had like no other players playing on the Saturday. Um, but obviously, the Haaland, the fact that a lot of people captained him, it didn't help out. So if he missed that penalty, it generally would have helped me out a lot more. Um, Kane picking up eight points, though, in the Liverpool game last night. I did think that Liverpool was going to concede, hence why I didn't play Van Dijk. But um, really, really happy that uh, Kane scored and, again, just helped me a little bit. And then Wilson, I did go for my captaincy. This was so annoying because... Um, I was expecting some big things. And as well as that, when he came off, they went and scored another three goals, which Wilson, I think, would have been a part of. But yeah, he did come off at halftime. He said he was feeling like dizzy and stuff. So it wasn't like an injury-related, um, uh, um, what's it called, substitute. It was just because he was feeling a bit under the weather. So I'm sure he'll be back for next week, but still really, really annoying. Um, obviously, I had Kane as my vice-captain. So I wish that he just didn't play Wilson at all. But 
it is what it is. Also, for Almiron's goal, I don't know. I, I, I see it back. I, I'm not sure if Wilson got a touch on it. I don't know. Like, when I watched it, because I was watching the Newcastle game, I thought that Wilson got a touch. So I was really hoping he'd get an assist because that would have really helped me out. Um, an extra six points. But yeah, I don't know. Apparently, he didn't touch it, which is really annoying. But yeah, that was that was my game week. So it took a minus four. Wilson, my captain off at halftime. Almiron injured. Dallow misses next game week. Cancelo, red card. Um, and yeah, that's the situation I'm in. And I've only got one free transfer next. So um, next week, I'm missing Dallow, potentially missing Wilson, potentially missing Almiron. So we'll see what happens. But either way, let's move on to the knee-jerk reactions for um, game week 16. So the most transferred in player is Almiron. 174,000 people have brought him in. Again, I, this guy is just a gold mine at the moment. Like He's just ticking over every single game. Uh, which I'm really happy about because he's helping me out every single week. So I really hope he's okay for the Chelsea game. Like, I'm not even worried about that Chelsea game. Like, Chelsea looks so bad um, against Arsenal. Like, Arsenal just completely dominated that game. And now it's at Newcastle as well. So it's not even at Stamford Bridge. Um, and, and Newcastle's just in really good form. So I'm, I'm expecting, like, a 2-3-1 maybe win for Newcastle. Like, I think they'll win that game relatively comfortably. Chelsea just don't look good at the moment. Um, so yeah, Almiron most transferred in player so far. Haaland, another player. I mean, a lot of people just got rid of him um, and now are bringing him back in because of like the injury and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, Haaland should start against Brentford and he will be my captain. And I'm glad I don't have a captaincy headache because my last two captains have been absolutely terrible. I'm on my fifth red arrow in a row, by the way, down to like 65k, I think it is, or 63k. It's not too bad because I'm like three points away from like 50k. Um, and I think I'm like 20 points away from like the top 10k. But I think this was very much a make or break game week for me. Like... I feel like I've always been around like the 10, 20k mark, and I think one good game week could have pushed me into like the top 5k. But this was this was a game week that really hurt because like Salah did really well, Arsenal assets did well um, in terms of like clean sheets and stuff, and I had just so many issues. My captaincy was terrible. It was just one of those weeks. Um, either way though, I'm obviously a bit bitter about it, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so yeah, Haaland, second most transferred in player. Trossard, another player that's being brought in a lot. Again, they just have a nice fixture. Um, is it, who's it? Is it Wolves, I think? Uh, no, Villa, Villa next. Well, to be fair, I say it's a nice fixture. Villa apparently played really well in that United game, so we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, I understand the Trossard move. A lot of people go into him. Um... So, yeah, he's, he's a nice option there. And, and Brighton look pretty good at the moment. Uh, and then Madison as well. And Madison is just like, honestly, if he never picked up that fifth yellow card to, to miss game week, what was it, 13, whatever it was, I would never have sold him. And I would have just been getting all these points because he's ticking over constantly. I mean, West Ham away is not even a terrible fixture either for Leicester next. Um, and honestly, I would have kept him. I would have kept him up until like now. And uh, it's really annoying that he picked up that fifth yellow. I mean, he might have got a yellow like game after or something like that, but it is what it is. But um, yeah, it's really annoying that I had to get rid of James Madison that week. I mean, I didn't even have to get rid of him, but I did what I did. Um, so that's Madison as well, another player that's been highly brought in. And then Salah as well. Uh, yeah, two goals. I mean, the king is back. Um, that's what everyone's saying. He's got Southampton at home next as well. So a really, really good fixture for Salah. Um, he's only 30% owned, which is absolutely insane. But yeah. Um, yeah, Salah, really, really good option for Southampton. And then even after the break, Villa and Leicester. Um, I, I just can't wait for the World Cup. Like I said, I'm on my fifth red arrow in a row. Uh, it, it's weird, like, I'm not seeing a green arrow in so long. And it's just, it's just really upsetting. I just want a green arrow. I want to go into the World Cup with a green arrow because... Um, it's just been it's just been absolutely hell. <laughs> it really has. So those are the most transferred in players this game week. Moving on to the most transferred out players. And then Foden is number one. I think if you still have Foden, I don't think you get rid of him. Like, he potentially could play against Brentford. I think City is the um, the early kickoff again. So I think that Brentford, um, the Brentford team news will be, like, out relatively early, potentially. But again, I don't even think I'm going to watch it because or wait for it. Because it's literally just been... It's been making my decisions bad every single week. So I think I'm just going to... I mean, to be fair, I'll just captain Harlan this week and then just that'll be it. Um, but yeah, another one-pointer. Um, really, really unfortunate. Um, but again, does have that Brentford game. So again, I'd, if you do own Foden, I'd wait for team news. But yeah, I mean, it's just been really annoying as a Foden owner. And then Cancelo, like I say, most transferred... At, like, one of the most transferred out players. Like, he's he's fine for game week six. Just don't get rid of him. I mean, it, it's... I, I don't know. Like, you just wait for the information. Like, he would be flagged by now if he was um not available like dallow has been flagged like the fact that you people are transferring him out and he's not even flagged like that should be a bit of a, a wake-up call like why is he not flagged and then you just do a bit of research and it's like oh, okay Cancelo's not actually going to miss the game because brentford at home like brentford don't look that good at the moment i know that tony will be back well i don't know because of the whole like gambling situation whether he's going to be back or not 
But yeah, Brentford at home, I, I don't think you, you get rid of Cancelo at all. I mean, he's an absolute keep for me. Um, and again, I don't know why people are selling him, but do your research and you'll be you'll be happy to know that he's fine. Uh, and then Mitrovic, another player um, that has been transferred out by over 100,000 people. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, Mitrovic is really a, a weird situation at the moment. Like, obviously, he wasn't even in the squad um, against City. I mean, that's probably because Marco Silva knew it was a game that he probably wasn't going to win, so he didn't really want to risk Mitrovic. But at the same time, they were actually really close to winning because of the, the man sent off and stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe he just needed that and... and like that rest or that recovery and then he'll be back we'll have to wait and see obviously press conference is going to be quite big this week this is the week where you just take a massive punt on a random player because obviously after this week we get unlimited transfers it's the world cup um and again i have no idea who i'm going to bring in my team selection video will be tomorrow um but yeah my team's looking all right but i don't want to jinx it because it's been looking all right before and i still got absolutely nothing but um uh yeah this is the week you just bring in one random player just to hopefully do bits um, but yeah, Mitrovic, uh, over 100,000 people transferred him out. Jesus, another pl a player that a lot of people have transferred out, over 80,000. Um, I don't think you really get rid of Jesus at this point. I mean, Wolves away um, that is a good fixture. And I, I, don't, I think there's probably other players that you could get rid of instead. Um, but anyway, that's just, I don't own Jesus, but if I did own him, that's just something I would think about. And then Wilson, another player that's been highly transferred out, again, just because he picked up the one point. Again, I think he's fine. It wasn't an injury-related substitute. It was just illness. He's still flagged. I'm sure Eddie Howe in the press conferences and stuff in the week will be like, yeah, he's fine now. Uh, he just said that he felt a bit dizzy, a bit chesty or something. And it was also chucking it down as well, like it was absolutely plumbing it down with rain. So it was only going to make him worse. Um, so yeah, I think he's fine. He's not injury related at all. He's just a little bit under the weather. But I wish Eddie Howe just didn't play him at all. Um, but uh, yeah, either way, that is the most transferred in and out players for game week 16. A game week to forget for me for sure. Um, and then hopefully we can we can get a green a green arrow next week because honestly six red arrows in a row I think would just about um, <laughs> ruin me to be fair I need a green arrow bloody hell even if it's just like a thousand places I just want to see green um, but anyway that's everything from me if you enjoyed drop a like leave a comment what was your game week fifteen score subscribe if you're brand new and until next time peace.